Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Dhawan Solanki and in our last video we explored about AWS Management Console where we went through different services and their use cases. Alright, so today I'm going to walk you through how to set up an AWS EC2 instance and connect it to various code for local development. So before starting, what is Amazon EC2? Amazon EC2 stands for Elastic Compute Cloud and it's a cloud service that lets you rent virtual machines to run your applications just like a computer. It gives an on-demand computing power, meaning you can scale your application up or down whenever needed. You have your flex you can get your flexibility to choose your operating system such as Ubuntu, Linux, or Windows, Mac OS, etc. Plus it's very cost effective and here you only pay for whatever you use. So there are no upfront costs or any hardware maintenance. Also, you can host your websites and web applications. You can run your backend services, test your applications and everything that can be done on the server without needing much setup onto your local machine. All right, so let's get started with setting up our instances. So first of all, we'll search for EC2 over here and select instances as a resource and you can select your region from your I'll prefer Mumbai and then you can click on launch instance yeah you can provide a name uh, an instance name I'll go with the one test one and operating system as Ubuntu and we'll select the Ubuntu server 24.4 and architecture is 64 bit for instance type we can select T2 micro for this tutorial uh, we have a free tier eligible for this one it's one we CPU with one GP of memory, but yeah, you can select based on your own requirements. Uh, also, you can use key pair which securely connects to your instance. I highly recommend that you create a key pair for this. Uh, so let's start with creating a new key pair. So the one test one and create a key pair. Yeah, so we'll be getting a pen file. Also, uh, we'll need to create a security group for this. Uh, we currently don't have, we actually have a security group, but I recommend it to create a new security group with custom permissions or whatever port uh, access you want to give. So by default, we have all SSS traffic that is port 22 but you can also give HTTPS and HTTP that is port 80 and 443 uh, will be required while deploying the web states. Also, we we'll need to configure some storage over here that is 8 GB. Current, by default, we have 8 GB of storage. You can configure based on your requirements. Um, you can scale up to 30 GB under free tier. Yeah, that's all the configuration about to setting up an instance. Uh, after that, you just need to launch an instance. It will take a couple of minutes to start initiate and uh, we wait for here till it initializes. Meanwhile, there are multiple methods to connect your instances. Just select your instance press and click on connect and you can see your public IPv4 address it's you can search for it over here as well yeah so this site cannot be reached you can connect using your session manager you can connect using SSH client or EC2 serial console whatever method you it's fine for you mm. We'll go with AC2 instance connect. So just select AC2 instance connect and your by default username will be Ubuntu. Just click on Ubuntu and connect. And 
this stipulation. All right, so here we have our instance set up ready. Uh, we are currently using the web interface of Amazon. Also, we'll be going through setting up the or connecting the virtual machine using on our local VS code. Okay, so for that, we'll open VS code and we'll install an extension that is remote SSH. This one. Once you are done with installing remote SSH extension, uh, you will be having an option like opening a remote window over here or you can press Control shift p or command shift p and you can search for remote ssh connect to host or add new host let's create a new host and have a test one and uh, i'll select as users down config over here and host is added once you are done with creating a host uh, you can just click on connect to host and configure ssh hosts and click on ssh config over here so we already have this one the one test one and just let this you can try creating in this format so host whatever name you want to give for example i'll put it as the one test one or any name whatever you want to put user as ubuntu host name as the ip public ip address so we'll copy paste from over here go to ec2 select the instance go to details and you'll be getting a public ipv4 address from your cop just copy paste this address and paste it over here and identity file remember the file we downloaded over here the pam file while creating an instance so i'll just copy paste this file in the directory in the directory whatever i have provided the one ssh that's is the one hyphen test hyphen one dot pam one dot pam and once this is done uh, i'll click on connect over here and select ssh client uh, first of all i'll run this command to ensure the key is not publicly viewable so i'll just open terminal and go to cd users voice back home back cd the one ssh and over here ch mode the one test one dot okay once this is done i'll copy ssh command and paste over here and this will ask for my fingerprint so i'll grant the permission yes once this is done yeah we are good to go we have connected successfully with the server and that's how we can connect an ec2 instance on our vs code that's it if you found this video helpful like subscribe for more for development and operations related tutorials let me know in the comments what AWS topic you would like to see next and see you in the next video. Thank you.